good morning thank you for watching um angie's art studio i should say michael because my husband is always here too anyway i put up a video i'm going to put up a video of the ones i've done and how they look and they're very dry but i'm going to wait another two weeks to varnish them i'm not going to put resin on them because i want you know to make them like just varnish and even if i have to give it three coats it'll look beautiful um i'm gonna do an open cup drag pour and i hope that you are all doing fine thank you to the subscribers every time i look in i have new subscribers i am so happy and thanks for the comments and i try very much to respond to everything and everyone so I hope that I'm doing a good job with that, communicating with my people, and um, I hope you all doing fabulous. As for me, I try to stay strong as much as possible, and that's what I work on. I've always been brilliant at staying strong for years, because, you know, to be in the medical field 42 years, you have to be very strong. And I notice now that to be in the art field, you have to be even stronger. So, anyway, with that said, I hope we can all work together like brothers and sisters and love each other and uh, support each other. And if I don't buy from every client or from everyone that sells stuff, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have a whole bunch of money. Like I said, I am on disability. So, I work on a budget. So, when I get resin, it's once a month because that's how I could afford it. And it's usually the end of the month. So I try to stretch out my resin so that I'm doing resin and acrylic pour throughout the week. And now I've been adding like alcohol ink. And uh, that's about it. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my channel. And I love you all. I'm going to bring you down so we can start the show. All right? Here we go. canvas let's put it so that you can see and I hope it's not too light or too dark just let me know and I can change the brightness and the darkness of this uh, but for now let me have a cup of coffee I'm gonna drink a coffee all right here we go open cup drag pour open cup drag pour because I always drag it <laughs> never lets uh, me do what I want to do all the time but uh, anyway I'm just gonna pour the colors the colors I am using is the color gold I am using very little black because I don't want the black to take over the whole painting okay I am using the color deep turquoise deep turquoise I love the deep turquoise you know that I think like every painting I do I have deep turquoise in it I am using white titanium white these are all colors by Blix you know from the Blix store which is the primary uh, acrylic paints that they sell and they are these premier premier acrylic colors because I have an AC more by my house and that's where I buy all of those Okay, now the next color I'm going to put in is the yellow, which I made myself out of mustard and yellow, because I don't have enough yellow. And as we know, yellow is a primary color, so it's hard to make a yellow. I mean, you can make a brown with red and, and black, but you can't make a yellow, because it's a primary color. Alright, and Perusian blue. And now I am going into this beautiful... Look at this beautiful green. It's like an aqua green. It's a teal. I just added white to it to make it lighter. And this teal is from uh, Artist Love. So not all the painting are all from Blitz. So here we go. Open cup right pour. Let me get my open cup. Where do I have it? I usually keep one to drag it around. And I got this little one. It's a tiny one, but it's okay. At least I have one. <laughs> so let's see how this turns out, guy. Guys, it's a different color than what I'm used to. But uh, we shall see. I hope you can all see very well. 
Ooh, I was supposed to put the white around, but uh, ooh, this white is like water. It's sliding now. Oof, it's sliding too fast. Wait. That's because the white in the background is very, very slippery. Slippery slope. Maybe I should have put two open cup here. So I could slide one and then the other one just. Yeah. It pushes back. You see that? But I'm going to push it forward. So, sort of to cover the whole canvas. There we go. How pretty is those colors? I'm going to put another one right here. Where it left off here. Nope, don't go this way. Go back that way. It's okay if some falls off. It's a lot of paint on this canvas. A whole lot of paint. Well, so far I'm liking it. I'll put the rest of the paint so I don't have any more left over. Uh... So, because it is a small canvas, not so big, that's why I uh, used the tiny, tiny cups to measure the colors. Anyway, I didn't look at the paint chart. I should have. should always follow your paint chart for how much amount of paint you need for each of your canvas. I follow the same uh, paint chart that I follow for the resin, because that's the only one I have on my phone right now. And I'm going to give it a little blow gun here. I'm almost out of my white. I'm going to have to go to buy some. I'm always out of something, right? But that's because I do so much painting. <laughs> Even when I'm not on, I am painting. Or fixing my paints. Curing my paints. say it's just okay to just use one or two colors or three colors because all the other colors they stay down in the bottom I don't see them anyway uh, let's just give it a little work here and there yeah I like it I like it it turned out so pretty I like this color here the, the middle so gorgeous you know, I always got to hit my paint because that's just who I am. I'm always hitting it up. So I'm going to show you a close-up, guys. And that will be it for today. Tomorrow I have a surprise for you. You're going to love it, I hope. And uh, this is maybe too close. Yeah. Because you can't see the cells like that. i put the strap over my head. I always get the strap in the paint. I love the cells, they're gorgeous, like cells everywhere, cells galore. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm going as slow as uh, someone had told me to go slower, because they don't really see it. However, guys, I have all my artwork on Instagram, and you can follow my page on Facebook. It's called Mixed Media Art Studio 2017, because that's when I started posting on that Facebook page. All right, guys, that is it. Love you all. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. One o'clock sharp. Bye. Love you.